All right, all right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We got Mitch here already today. How we doing, guys? Good morning. Good morning out there. It's not that bad of a Friday. I mean, obviously it's not great, but we have SLS looking okay. Uh, gapping up from 153 to 185. We got SAEX gapping up from 170 to 223. Uh, watching MTSL again, which is gapping up um, about 48 cents uh, in pre uh, from 295 to 343. Watching AQXP gapping up from 317 to 338. And I have a few other ones I'm watching as, as well. Uh. Good morning, everyone. Let me catch back up with the chat. Uh, good morning, Missouri. Lucas, what's up, brother? Uh, your channel, good morning. D Champion, good morning. Harjap, good morning. Anthony, good morning. Matt, good morning. James, what's up, man? Uh, Bashar, good morning. Matt, good morning. What's up, guys? All right, so hopefully we can finish the week out strong today. Uh, this week we've had three green days. One red day, which was yesterday, and it was only a $6 loss. And um, hopefully I can finish the week out strong. Mostly profitable trades this week. And so, you know, regardless, I mean, I'm still up a decent amount net on the week. And so hopefully I can finish it out strong. Uh, let me go ahead and post the rest of my chat, or the rest of my uh, watch list. So just give me a second here. I'm still kind of looking at a few different things. Uh, we also have VKTX moving some, DGLY. All right. Watching PED, although it's not moving that much right now. Um, PAH, kind of a weird gap. Um, PTCT. So I'm just adding up my other monitor. SKX, Skechers gapping down significantly here. Um, ZYNE. Um, let's look at the SPY. Spy is down in pre this morning. All right, so I'll go ahead and add my watch list to the chat. Give me one second, um, and then I'll see how many of these are actually tradable. All right, so here's my watch list. Um, let's see if I can see how many are tradable. Good morning, Huguetes. What's up, brother? Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Kareen. Yeah. Yeah, you're excited for the Friday edition of J&M in the morning? Hey, hey, hey. We should have like an intro, Mitch, where it's like, hey, welcome to J&M in the morning. Hey, we're <laughs> doing We're doing Let's make it. Why not? Why you know not, what I mean? Man. Yeah, dude, let's do hey. it. Good morning, Adam. What's up, brother? Good morning, NYC. Good morning, Info. Who knows? Maybe we start having a little, a little talk show maybe on the weekends. Right. Oh, Deep Champion. Appreciate the uh, $5 super chat, brother. Appreciate it, man. Hey, super, super. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, my uh, my screen's lagging a little late, so I just saw it. But hey, that's awesome, brother. Appreciate it, man. Really appreciate it. Oh, I see you threw up BKTX there on the watch list. Yeah, I mean, it's gapping up a little bit. Um, let's see, where's that? Uh, right. Yeah, it's gapping up from, I mean, it's a small gap, BKTX. But yeah, that's awesome, uh, D Champion. Really means a lot, brother. I really appreciate it, man. Uh, but yeah, VKTX gapping up from 1030 to 1060. Small gap, but moving more than it usually does, I guess. Um, and so I'll watch it. All right, so let's see how many of these are actually tradable. AQXP is tradable. Uh, SLS. Wait. SLS is tradable. SAEX is tradable. MTSL is tradable. RWLK is tradable. DGLY is not tradable, so that's one. PED is tradable. PAH is tradable. PTCT is tradable. SKX is tradable. ZYNE is tradable. And I think that's... So yeah, only one out of... Let's see, how many do I have? Four, eight, nine, ten... Uh, one out of twelve is not tradable. All the other ones are actually tradable. So everything on my watch list, all 12 on my watch list are tradable except for one, which is DGLY. All right. 
Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll I'll go ahead and send you uh, to uh, Arian's world. I'll send you Arian world Arian's world's link. Um, who was asking? Info Planet. Um, just uh, one thing with Arian world. Always pay attention to the scanner time. Look for his gapper time, and then look at the time that it says there. Because um, sometimes I've been to his page and he, he's like two or three hours behind. You definitely don't want to be, you know. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, he, I mean, I use, like, I've used his for a while now, I just kind of stumbled upon it on YouTube, and he's been in the stream before, so I, I think I told him last time I'd give him a shout out and forgot, uh, but yeah, there's the link to it, um, like I said, he, he live streams his trade idea scanner, and so you can see what's moving, and so it's actually a really good deal, it, it may not be the most up to date, but it, it's, it's worth it in my opinion for pre-market at least, like, you can see what's moving in pre, um, you know, fairly easy so hey guys to remind you guys trade ideas uh trial week all next week if you guys want to go ahead and go to that just go to the trade ideas oh, man. just drinking my coffee yeah me too man Definitely one of those days. My wife bought me this big cup that says I love my wife on it. It's like the hugest coffee cup ever. Oh, yeah. how cute. Yeah, how man. Cute. Yeah, man. Thanks, bro. <laughs> taking care of you. Taking care <laughs> yeah. of you. It's like a huge cup. It's so big, man. Uh, all right. So let's go over the news for some of these. Uh, first one looking at is SAEX. Probably my favorite one thus far. All right, so SAEX gets approved for Texas uh, from Texas court. Um, they got a, they were approved for purchasing certain assets of Guy Kinetics, uh, and their shares are up thirty three percent. The company said the U.S. bankruptcy court for the Southern District of Texas approved the asset purchase agreement. Uh, between its subsidiary SAE Exploration Inc. and Geokinetics. Uh, so yeah, purchase agreement. Interesting here. We'll see where SAEX goes. Uh, next one I'm looking at is MTSL. MTSL probably just up on technicals and momentum still, but still worthy of a look here. Hey Mitch, brother, don't get mad at me. All right. Yo, Mitch, you there, bro? Yeah, yeah. Don't get mad at me. But I rewatched yesterday's stream. It was either yesterday or the day before, and I had yeah. I had you muted for like the first twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it was no, it was it was not intentional, brother. I swear, man, it was a complete accident. I noticed it after I walked back and saw that, and and I also noticed people in the chat being like, "I can barely hear Mitch," and so you were muted for like the first twenty minutes, brother. Sorry about that. Hey, it's all good. No stress. <laughs> no stress. What was this yesterday or it was either yesterday or the day before, man. I think it might have been the day before, but it may have been yesterday. Uh, I caught it re pretty early, but you were muted. It may have been like the first few minutes. I still think I mean people still got your call outs, I think, but uh it was hey, it's like all good. right, it was like the first few minutes, I think. But yeah, I caught it. We're not it. gonna be perfect yet. We'll, yeah, we'll get it down. I, I'm still getting used to somebody else here, so I gotta un I gotta unmute desktop audio, which is what I forgot. But I remembered it today. I mean, yeah. I think they could still hear you, but I think if you were just pretty low. But yeah, MTSL, uh, just up on technicals and momentum here. Next one I'm looking at is SLS. SLS received a fast track designation for their bio drug gallon pepimut. I don't know how to pronounce that. Gala pepimut. Uh, <laughs> they they got a F, FDA fast track designation for that. I hate bio drugs. I hate reading bio drugs. I, I kind of enjoy you doing it. So yeah. Hey you hey man. On, I think I'm doing good. <laughs> I, I think I'm doing well, man. You know I think I'm oh, doing I it enjoy right. It. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's up uh, around 23% in pre after the FDA granted the fast track, fast track designation for its bio drug. We're just going to say GPS. Um, the company's lead asset for the treatment of multiple myeloma. 
Uh, so fast track designation for SLS. That one's interesting. We'll see where this one goes as well. Uh, also looking at AQXP top left chart. AQXP. A very small gap, but we'll see if it has any catalyst here. I don't think there's actually any catalyst for this one. No catalyst that I can actually see for AQXP. Um. Yes. It's just up. Yeah, nothing really, no catalyst that I can see for AQXP. So moving on, um, another one I'm looking at is RWLK. RWLK gapping up from 71 to 83. Went as high as 110, but came back down here. Um, let's see why this one's doing this. RWLK now in the bottom right chart, you can see. All right, so yeah, so the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs decided to expand access to RWLK's exoskeletons, which are ultimately for paralyzed veterans with revised national policy. And Okay, so the Department of Veteran Affairs decided to uh, expand, um, expand access to RWLK's products to veterans, and so that's why it's up. Uh, we'll see where this one goes. It's not up too, too much, but I mean, it's up more than 10%, so we'll see where it goes. Uh, another one I'm looking at is DGLY. This is the one on my watch list that I wasn't able to trade, and it's up about 10 cents in pre. Uh, let's see. Did, did we get it added? No, no. I'm, it's, I seriously doubt it. The volume still hasn't reached 500,000 in the last three months, um, and so I seriously doubt it'll get added today. Um, I'm just looking to see if it has anything, which I don't really see. Oh, wait, up. Yeah, the U.S. District Court for uh, the District of Kansas uh, decided to, uh, sided with DGLY over AXON's attempt to narrow the company's pa patent rights. So it sounds like this uh, stock was kind of going to war with AXON, and, they were, and AXON was attempting to narrow the uh, DGLY's patent rights. Interesting. But... Um, the U.S. District Court for Kansas sided with the DGLY, apparently. So, interesting. We'll see where it goes. Need some more volume. Looking at PED, I'm pretty confident this one's just up on technicals. Uh, PAH here, gapping up from 1267 to 1295. Um, I mean, this one got all the way up to 1376, and then it came right back down, which has happened more than once in this market. I've seen this happen a few times this morning. So, let's see why this one's doing this. All right, so yeah, Platform Specialty, which is PAH, uh, they recently announced the sale of Arista Life Science. Uh, so yeah, they signed a definitive, a definitive agreement to sell Arista Life Sciences to UPL Corporation for $4.2 billion in cash. Uh, it is subject to customary closing adjustments, and the closing is expected in late this year or early next year. Uh, so interesting. They may have found something in there they didn't like. Um, UPL Corporation. Let's see if UPL is a stock. Yeah. Uh, interesting here. We'll see where this one goes. Uh, they announced a sale. So we'll see where this one goes. It's up some. I mean, they made some money. $4.2 billion to be specific in cash on the sale. So we'll see where this one goes. Uh, PTCT started to gap up yesterday in after hours. PTCT. Uh, let's see if I can see anything for this one. Uh, yeah, so it sounds like this was a $200 million acquisition of Agilis Biotherapeutics. Uh, so yeah, PTCT put out a press release stating that it, it plans to actually acquire um, Agilis Biotherapeutics, which is a gene therapy startup uh, for $200 million plus some in th uh, incentives. Uh, so that's why PTCT is up. I wonder if AGIL is a uh, stock. 
No, I can't find anything about it. We'll have to look that one up. Skechers gapping down some from 33.25 to 24. So a monster gap here. Look how big of a gap with Skechers. Really big gap here. Um, Guys, another one to watch. Staff. Oh, yeah. Staff starting to pull, uh, push up some as well. Want to see some more volume, but it doesn't look too bad. Uh, I'm looking for it more of a short, not really a long, but I would like to see it get stuffed out up there in those 365s. Yeah. All right, so a lot of cut ratings for Skechers. Um, so, yeah, it sounds like Skechers uh, put out their second quarter results, and the second quarter results were... My computer's lagging a little bit. Um, they reported record sales. Um, they did miss earnings, and they had the same store sales expectations. Or they missed earnings and same store sales expectations. So lower than expected earnings and uh, same store sale expectations. Uh, they reported a profit of 45.3 mil, or 29 cents a share, which is down from last year. Um <clears throat> Yeah, they said that their uh, profits were poorly affected by foreign exchange impacts of seven mil, and legal costs of six point two million. Um, so yeah, Skechers down a significant amount after bad uh, qu second quarter results here. We'll see where it goes. Uh, looking at ZYNE gapping down significantly as well. ZYNE from ten forty two to eight uh, eight oh six, just about eight dollars. Uh, yeah, so they're raising funds via a share sale. Is So that's what it sounds like. Uh, they're announcing a common stock offering. Uh, raising funds via share sale. Yeah, so it's down after the announcement of a common stock offering. And that's basically it thus far. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's not too bad of a morning. We got some movers, but I uh, want to see some more volume for sure. But yeah, look at staff starting to push up here. Oh, man, what was here? Um, SLS. Let's see this. MTSL. All right, so not too bad of a morning. Let me go ahead and catch back up with this chat here. Uh, Harjap, I use Thinkorswim for the news. Like, if you see here, you can go to Thinkorswim, um, on, uh, on Thinkorswim. If you go over here, you can go to live news. Really, all you gotta do, there's actually a lot of different stuff you can do on Thinkorswim. I can go to, uh, I can play Tetris if I want to. I can play e. Minecraft if I want to. <laughs> there's actually a lot of stuff you can play on here. You just go to Switch Gadget. Look, there's Minecraft. Or not Minecraft. There's Minesweeper. I'm sorry. The the OG Minecraft. You know. There's Minesweeper. But the more importantly, besides all these games, is there's a live news section, and so I can go in here, type in the stock name, uh, whether it be S A E X, and it shows me all the recent news. And so that's what I'm going through. Uh, good morning, nice seven. Little, uh, nice little head and shoulders for MTSL on the pre-market. That's why it's breaking through the support right now. I'm just going to watch to see if it holds closer to the open. Yeah, we'll see. It's uh, It needs to, It has some support at 325. We'll see if it continues to hold there. Yeah, that 330 was an important, uh, important price yesterday. As you saw it uh, bounce into the VWAP every time, and that was the price. <laughs> that kept getting reshorted. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so, laughing at the chat. <laughs> uh, yesterday, it had uh, MTSL had uh, three attempts to the VWAP, and they all just went right back down. Yeah, look at that. Over and over and over again. Nice.
Yeah, the VWAP fade is definitely a viable strategy. Um, here, let me fix this. Morning crew, I like to take a shower and get dressed before hopping on the stream. Separate that workflow life. I was worried for, for the bromance for a second there. Yeah, good morning, Adrian. What's up, brother? Casa, good morning. Happy Friday, brother. VPED, Harjap. Nah, I'm not showing anything for that. Hope we have a good day. Good morning, Casa. Matthew, what's up, brother? What's up, Brendan? Um, so basically, like, to edit the platform, Brendan, um, I just removed everything, and then kind of, like, if you see here, I can, I can pull this out if I want to. Like, I just deleted, I just deleted the chart right here, and then just kind of squeezed it to the side. You know, that's it, that's all I did. Uh, FNKO, yeah, I remember FNKO from yesterday, no, it was the day before. Yeah, FNKO looks interesting, PED, yeah, watching that. Yeah, no worries, Carlos, or Carlo, welcome, brother. Good morning, the best, how you doing, man? Yeah, watching SLS7. Uh, Imad, I'm talking to Mitch, he's, uh, this is the John and Mitch in the morning show, bro. You know? <laughs> uh, Matthew, yeah, watching CLF. Good morning, Tiny. Good morning, Sweetie Pie. All right, guys, got all my alerts set to the important prices that I want. Um, it's one of the key things that have been, I think, helping me out lately. Um, I used to be more off of uh, my momentum scanners, but um, lately I've been using a lot of uh, price alerts for important resistance and support breaks. Um, I don't use these to actually get in a trade. I use these just to pull up the chart on stocks that I find interesting at important prices. Right. Oh, yeah, I think that's a good way to do it. Somebody's asking me about SLS. Uh, SLS received fast track designation from the FDA for their drug working towards mul or working uh, against multiple myla my uh, myeloma. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, fast track designation from the FDA for SLS is what ultimately is going on with it. Good morning, cool. What's up, brother? DM, GC, DM. Yeah, I remember DM was moving yesterday, right? Um, it's still up a ton here. I actually like it maybe for a short. Uh, yeah, yeah. I kind of, I mean, usually I look for basically my style of trading. Uh, excuse me, is to take advantage of overextension in either way. And so I actually uh, think this one's a little extended. We'll see where it goes. I want, want to see some more volume come in for sure with it, though. But yeah, after the stream today, I'll be posting a, a kind of a new series, a new video series I've been working on. I call it Walkthroughs. And in it, I kind of walk you through the different setups and patterns that I use. Each video is for a different setup. Um, yeah, no worries. But yeah, appreciate the sub, Brandon. Um, but yeah, each setup, each video is for a different setup. It's actually a very short video. I don't even talk through the video. Uh, I just have, uh, you know, I just kind of walk you through with text and arrows and kind of graphics uh, why I'm, where I get into the short setup, what it looks like, where I plan to enter, where I plan to add, where I plan to cover, and stuff like that. And so after this uh, stream, uh, I'll be posting that video as well. Let me know. Uh, it's kind of a new series I've kind of been working on. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, you know, and that will all kind of dictate whether I continue doing the series or not. I think it's a pretty cool series, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Yeah, no worries, uh, GC. No worries, brother. Yeah, Sean, it's it's a, I mean, it's not like a really, you know, like I said, the, the videos are pretty short. It's just kind of like a walkthrough of all the different trade ideas and the all the different patterns that I use. And so each video is going to be for a specific pattern. Uh, the first one I did is on the VWAP fade setup since obviously that's like my favorite setup. But uh, I'll be having some other videos out this weekend about the other setups I use. But yeah, like I said, I don't even talk in it. There's no, there's no voice in it. Uh, I only talk at the beginning, kind of explaining what it is. 
Um, but the bulk of the video is just kind of text and uh, graphics to kind of show what you know what I'm looking for for that setup. PBR gap up. Yeah, appreciate it, Harjap. Appreciate it, brother. Uh, yeah, so this is Tefs. It's the partnering broker with TradeNet on the left side. Um, the right side is Thinkorswim. And so I actually use Tefs to execute my trades, and I like Thinkorswim's charting, and so I use Thinkorswim for charts. All right, all right. So not too bad of a morning here for a Friday, really. Um, we'll see what we get. Right, that's kind of what I was thinking, uh, Gurk. Uh, which pre-market scanner do I use? I actually use Adrian's World, uh, and I use Trade Ideas. And so I kind of use both, but lately I've been using Adrian's World uh, in pre-market at least to see what's moving. Yeah, no worries, Marcus. That's right, Lindsay. Yeah, good morning, NYC and Tiny. How are you guys, how are you all doing? Sorry I said guys, but how are you all doing? They're the friendly moms of the channel, you know. For P? Pandora, right? Yeah, Pandora. I mean, they're live. It's just nothing. It didn't move at all. There's just no volume. I mean, it, it's live. It's just not moving at all. You know, it hasn't moved at all in pre- All right, all right. So, yeah, this is the scanner I use. I'll go ahead and post your link again, Adrian's World. You're welcome, brother. You're welcome. I hope your channel grows, man. Cool channel. What's up, JT? How you been, brother? Haven't seen you in a while. Good morning, Amy. How you doing? I think he delays it on purpose so he doesn't get in trouble with trade ideas. It might be smart to do it that way. Like I would, like I'm, you know, like I, YouTube is so big, you know. I went to it and it was like at 6 a.m. right now. Let me look at it. Yeah, that's the only thing, guys. Use it more as a pre-market gapper. I wouldn't use it right. during intraday because since it's not so, if it's not even like 15 minutes, if you're an hour late to moves, I mean, that's not really going to help you. Right. But I think it can help you for the, the gappers list, definitely. Um, you know, you can't get that anywhere else like that, uh, especially that simple. Um, he does have some good scanners on there for pre-market, so you can find some uh, certain stocks moving and, and certain things like that. So I think it's good for pre-market. I just haven't um, really seen him as close to time so it, but it, during intraday i don't mean to cut you off brother but it could be we don't know where he is we don't know where he's located and so it could be 6 30 his time could be like right now you know what i mean yeah. and it is i think it actually is because it's 6 20 right now it's 8 20 our time and so his time might just be you know he might live in a different he probably lives in a different time zone where um you he know, could be in Cali. Right, that's could what I'm thinking. Three hours back. Because 620, it's 820 now. It just changed to 621 as it changed to 821 now. And so I think it's live. I think it's real time, actually. I guess we're just going to have to ask Adrian. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's no better than asking the man who's streaming it. Right. Uh, I'm using Thinkorswim just for charting, RxN. Yeah, it's uh, Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, is he uh he lives in Cali. That's right. Um All right. Yeah, I'm using Thinkorswim just for charting. I'm using uh TradeNet or not TradeNet, Tefs to execute my trades. Uh but look at SAEX here. SAEX getting a big volume spike coming in here up to 235 now, breaking over the VWAP. Um it has some resistance here at 237, so we'll see how it acts right there. Um, SLS getting a little spike here as well. Let's see if it holds over 180. It's got a lot of support there, so watch to see if it breaks and holds that. Uh, 
All right, so. All right, guys. Uh, so definitely with that information, I'm going to fully support Adrian's world, guys. Um, you know, he's, he's going in. He's clearly stating that he's in California. So if he's giving you access to that scanner, then by all means, guys, um, there's no better scanner, I think, in the business than trade ideas. Appreciate the sub, Akam. Welcome, brother. Appreciate it, man. All right. So SLS getting a little spike. SAEX getting a spike. Yeah, I'm in Texas. I love Cali, though. I've been to Cali a few times. I miss. I, I love the weather in California. You know. Hey guys, anybody in Denver, Colorado? I'll actually be uh, taking a vacation out there on August eighth. Looking to trade over there. If anyone's out there, let me know. Yeah, I'm actually going to um on on July in late July. I'm going to Michigan as well. So if anybody's out in Michigan, let me know. We'll have a beer or something. Yeah, man. Ain't Although, like trading from away. Right, for you know? sure. Although Michigan's huge, but if anybody's around Michigan, let me know. <laughs> yeah, Matthew, that's where I'm at. Uh, Matthew Medellin. I think I pronounced that right. But yeah, I'm in. Uh, I'm right around the Houston area. All right, all right. So we got about five and a half minutes. Watching AQXP here, up on no news that I could see. Uh, it has a lot of support right around this 315, 313 level. So watching it under there and under three. Let's look at the daily chart for AQXP here. Um, it looks like a recent split, honestly, because it dropped from 1550 to one to two dollars overnight. So most likely a split there. Watching that one. Also, you can see PED starting to come down here and pre. Uh, we'll see where this one goes as well. Oh, nice, Sean. Yeah, brother. Uh, yeah, my uh, step my stepfather Sean uh, is actually from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, and so I've lived in Sault Ste. Marie, uh, Michigan, and in uh, Batuana, Canada. For uh, you know, I've lived there for a little bit. Um, just kind of what I usually did when I when I was younger was before I had kids was I would go up to Canada during the summer and I would come down here during the winter. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. But yeah, I love Canada. Really nice people, really cool culture in Canada. Yeah, I'm originally from Louisiana, Amy. Um, moved to Texas uh, about 10 years ago. Yeah, guys, definitely top three stocks for today is going to be MTSL, SAEX, and SLS. Those yep. are going to be my top watch. Those are mine, too. Hopefully, we get a few decent setup. Oh, uh, you're in Toronto, Sean? Nice, nice. Yeah, I've never been to Toronto. Uh, yeah, Ratish, I've back tested a decent amount and, you know, every day after the stream, I kind of review the different setups and, uh, <sighs> you know, kind of go through like every example of the VWAP fade that worked. I kind of try to review it to see the variables and try to get a better idea of why it worked. Hey, guys, um, you could uh, maybe get a chat room pump on staff. Just want to put it out there, guys, just so you guys see a massive push. You guys could kind of somewhat have a psychology behind why I don't it ever just takes off yeah I don't want to get into a staff a chat room pump just because they're too risky like you don't know whether they're actually gonna work and a lot of times you know I just I just don't want to risk you know 
a lot of these bigger chat rooms what Mitch is talking about is that a lot of these bigger chat rooms will kind of encourage their followers to buy a stock and if they have five six hundred followers that all jump into the stock it could kind of push it up some and usually they're just taking advantage of their followers um, yeah. but a lot of times or it'll like, cause them to like break the out. one I'm watching which is it's like we're talking about tens of thousands of traders are watching so definitely got to be careful with it yeah for sure you got to be careful with those a lot of the a lot of those big time chat rooms do pump up these stocks and so you got to be careful with it PED kind of bouncing back here and pre up to 269 all right all right so we got about two minutes until the open guys two minutes all right guys um i was thinking for saex shorting off into the 230 range um this stock usually comes up and comes right back down as you see on the daily every single time it's gone up it's come right back down so um i was looking for more of a short there at the 230s but as you see we already hit there pre-market so I'll look for an attempt breakout through the 240s and then for that to fail. I like it. All right, just got to take it slow. It's a green week thus far. Uh, three profitable days, one small losing day. So hopefully I can finish the week out strong. And then next week I can kind of build towards, you know, taking some larger gains. I was actually talking to my wife about it. And analyzing like my accuracy in the last few weeks and my accuracy has been pretty spot on and so um, hopefully you know I can uh, exactly cool with chat room pumps you usually jump in when you should be jumping out exactly you usually jump in when the guru or whoever's pumping it up is jumping out and that's kind of the yeah. that's what they do you know yeah, well, I, what I used to do the only way you're gonna beat um, chat room pumps is if you pay attention to where the guru gets in and you beat his price right you try that's, to get in that's early. the only way it, either early or you see that he got in on an overextension like it, it just pushes up he gets in on the high day break and it pulls back you get in there on a better price than he does all right all just right be careful of these sells market opens in 10 seconds guys 10 seconds good luck all right guys visualize your trade know what you want exactly what you're trying to see there's the bell if it isn't that then don't take it all right so SLS pushing up to 195 up to 197 testing two uh, SLS now 197 testing two yeah, can for SLS, I'm gonna be looking for a 230s. PTCT spiking up here uh, at the open. PTCT. All right. Spiking up. Uh, VKTX breaking the pre-market high. VKTX. You can see breaking the pre-market high. It's at 1087, starting to run after the pre-market high break. SAEX dropping down some to 220s. It's got some support at 215. SLS back up to $2 now. Just broke it's two. Break. It's up to 204. It's got some resistance at 205 for the pre market after hours high. So we'll see if it finds support there. Uh, getting rejected somewhat at two. Uh, VKTX still running after breaking the pre-market high. It's up to 10.93. MTSL guys hitting those 350s there, guys. Yeah, MTSL running up to 350. VKTX up to 10.93. SLS pulling back here down to the VWAP. Uh, PTCT pulling back some here. Kind of choppy at this point. ZY. NE trying to break the $8 mark. Um, STAF pulling back some. PAH not going anywhere. SKX pulling down some, dropping some, trying to break the low of uh, pre here. SKX trying to break the low of pre market at 23.80. SLS might just be done, guys. Didn't get up there above those twos. Yep. I wanted it to get a little bit further. I'm watching it for the VWAP fade at this point. I'm sure shorters got short there at $2. Oh, for sure. 
I think some probably jumped in at the low at 185 as well. Yeah, so watch for the squeeze on them. Look for it to move to maybe the 230 range and then failing again hard. Watching Pay attention it. to the level two. Watching SAEX for a VWAP fade here. Look at the VWAP bounce. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching it right now. I think it's bouncing. Yeah, it I, I saw much. it. It was just, too much. Yeah, it was too much. You could kind of tell there. Plus, Remember, it has all that support at 215. I was 215. looking for it to fail up here in those 30s. So that's one fail, and it's failing again up there. There's a reason why those 30s are holding up so much, guys. SLS. MTSL just went up there to 350s and right back down to the support, guys. SLS bouncing back to the VWAP after breaking under it. SLS. I think some shorters are going to start jumping in here on SLS. I may start jumping in with a small position. All right, so I'm in with 50 shares on SLS, just taking it slow. I'm looking for the tank back down under the low here in the VWAP fade. Guys, VKTX is getting up there to 1090s. Might try to test that 11 breakout. SLS sitting at 187, watching it closely here. Setting a risk close of like 191. There's BKTX there at 11, guys. And it, boom, bro, broke up there to 11.6, 11.10 on the ass there. You can look for this little breakout through 10 and then sell half of it. There you go on the bid, sell half of it there, 11.10s. And now it's up there to 11.14s, 11.18s. Try to let it extend a little bit further as you've already taken some profit. All right, so I and you can keep it going. I added to my SLS trade. I'm gonna get a much tighter stop at this point, but looking for it to continue to get rejected here. All right, I would look to take some uh, at the support there. Down to 85, 84. We'll see if we get a low of the day tank here. Guys, SAEX, they're breaking out over the 240s there, guys. All right, down to 82. We'll see if we can get a low of the day tank here. Down to 81, 80. Nice. I want to see a low of the day tank. Beautiful. I need to see the spread get a little bit better at this point. It's down to the 170s. See if that previous support turns into resistance here. Were you able to take some out there at 180s? Yeah, I got... Uh, I got a hundred yeah, shares good. now. I added to it. I'm trying to give it time Perfect. here. All right. We got VKTX there, guys. It held those that gain for you through the 11. If someone's long in there, I'm feeling pretty strong on there. If it gets under 11.7, you can get out, but it could extend through 11.20s. All right, guys. MTSL there, guys. Breaking down there through the 320s. Yeah, there it goes. I saw the level two smash down. Look at that wash. Now what I'm looking for is for it trying to trap some of those shorters. Um, don't want it to slam down here at 310 because it could bounce up to 330. All right, still holding patiently with SLS here. Uh, trying to give it that time to break the lows. I don't like that it continued to find some support here. 
at this 180 level, but it's starting to drop down to 179 now. It's the second test of the lows here. All right, SAEX guys did a double top there at 240s, guys. Like I said, that was this, that was the price right there, the short there. Hit that resistance hard, double top there. I'm looking for a push back up there. Somewhere in there I could take off of 45 off the high day, intraday. It's looking good for you, brother. You might get this wash out right now. I don't know, man. It continues to find some support here where it's had previously at 180, which makes me like it less. If it bounces over 183, I'm going to get out for break even. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds good. Yeah, it should be up there by the VWAP. I understand the pressure. You know. All right, guys. VKTX there. Back to 11, guys. If it holds those 11s there, we need, we need it to hold for five minutes there around the 11. Don't really like this movement in SLS. Volume still low, man. I watch it. You can there get the wash. There we go. There we go. One seventy nine. You, you know what helped you out there is you did get you did see that support hold, but you saw no volume, no buyers step up there and try to be a bag holder. If it bounces here, I definitely don't like it just because it's holding the support so well. On to 78, let's see 76. Let's see this thing really start to tank after this low of the low of the day break here. What you want to see is the volume increase here on the bids. So you see the bids, you see how that 104 seller there? Yep. Jumped up on the bid there. Now what you want to see is it not green green on the level 2 just start sliding through there. This is where you got you could see it possibly. Bounce back Still up to 180. In Still low in volume. SAEX there, guys. Trying that 245 again. Triple top in there at 245. All right, guys. Got a starter there at 240. Anything above 245, I'll get out there. Only 100 shares, though. So if this squeezes on me, I can lose a very tiny bit. All right, guys, squeezed out, out there at 49. That's fine. Not a trade that I do often, just more long trying to figure out there. But as you can see, it could top there at 250 and just keep coming back. So I did small share size in there. You can lose five, 10 bucks. That's fine. Um, your SLS is still looking uh, pretty well there. Just don't want to see the volume come back in on the plus side. Yeah, that's the biggest concerning thing. I mean, it's... A lot of down wicks, though, is the biggest concerning thing, but we'll see. I mean, I'm comfortable in it. I, at this point, I'm, it's not going to be um, a big loss unless just the squeeze on the upside happens, you know, rapidly. Yeah, they start to squeeze up.
kind of fighting the level two a little bit here 180 and 181 on the bid and the ask I could see a squeeze up here All right, I immediately got out once I saw the bid flash 184, or the ask flash 184. Uh, it could be another VWAP rejection, but I like getting out for a minimal loss here. Um, still got a little bit of time for a possible VWAP fade, and this may be another VWAP fade, honestly, looking at the chart. So I may have gotten out too early here because it may crash right back down, which it looks like it might. But it was too a little bit too choppy for me, no worries. Looking for a bounce for I to the VWAP, but I don't think we'll get it. There it goes on I, crashing down there through this 889. Important level here. Looking for a bounce there to the VWAP. Look at VKTX. VKTX bouncing, breaking the high of the day. Yep. Like I said, guys, alerted there for the 11 break. If it holds 11s, you're looking good. Held 11s, broke out there to 1140s. Honestly, SLS, in hindsight, looks like a VWAP fade at this point right now. Um, maybe should have held on to it. But it looks like it's going to continue down here. Missed my entry there for staff there at 3.30s. All right, so I jumped back in. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I put an order out that didn't get filled on SLS, which kind of glad it didn't because you can see this bounce up here to 186. MDXG for a potential short, MDXG. Yeah, I kind of like MDXG. It needs some more volume, though. That's the biggest thing. Look at the big wash on SAEX. Look at this fake or look at this drop here on SAEX. Massive, massive drop here. Yep, went up to those 250s, guys. Then cracked through those 240s. That's why I was trying to get a little parabolic short there at the 240 mark, just a little too early to the uh, move. See, look, there's the VWAP fade on SLS. See, I called this one out. It hurts. It hurts. It's, it's it was your entry, man. Your yeah. entry was a little lower. That's that's all that happened there. If there your entry's goes. not at VWAP, you got to risk off of VWAP. Hey, the trade idea was correct. I should have looked at the chart in hindsight. I called it out perfectly. It would have been a good trade idea. I think I entered it a little bit early. First, first entry was what? Uh, 185. Okay, that's not a bad entry. You're off about three cents there, and then the second entry. Well, I didn't add it. Uh, I, I can't remember where I added at. I see the problem. Though. The problem was I got out when I shouldn't have, you know. Like I got out. Well, was your it, ad lower or was it by the VWAP? It was a little bit higher. It was by the VWAP. Yeah, that's the key. If your ad is by the VWAP, then you're all then you're more than fine. Hey, no worries. It's still 8:45, so we got a little bit of time here. Definitely. Uh, Ratish says, let's see. PED broke out of my uh, alert. Ratish says, for SLS, you should try to react to the break of the lows, not predict. This is the reason a lot of traders lose. Actually, um, you know, not to disagree with you, and Ratish, you know, like, I respect you 100%, man. Um, but 
What I used to do was get in at the low of the day breaks, and those would fake you out so much, I just don't think they're a good risk reward trade. It's too risky that it's going to bounce once it breaks the low of the day and continue to push up. And so actually when I started getting in on the pullbacks opposed to the exact low of the day breaks, uh, I actually started to become a lot more consistent. Um, and I had a lot more winners than I did uh, whenever hey, I would jump in. Bears are in control of SAEX. SAEX. Yeah, for sure, watching that one. But yeah, I actually get in on the pullbacks. So like, if you look here, the VWAP fade setup, I get in on the pullbacks around the VWAP, and then I set the next support level as my exit, right? And it's just a much more reliable trade, and it, it's also a much better risk-to-reward trade. Like, if you jump in right at the low of the day, these things get faked PED out so guys, much. PED, PED, guys. Squeeze on PED. That's why I called it out. I was seeing the, my alert went off. It just broke out there through 269s. Volume coming in and immediately getting swept up there. Hidden seller up there in the 280s, guys. Hidden seller up there in the 280s. Be careful. Uh, MTSL starting to break the lows. And like I said, like I... I think every trader is different, Ratish, and so no worries, brother, but that's just kind of my style of trading, and it's worked. I've back-tested it a decent amount, and uh, the VWAP fade setup is definitely viable. Like this week, I've had three green days. Today's basically break-even, maybe a small loss after commissions, but you know, this week I'm net profit, and uh, it's only using that VWAP fade setup. And so no worries, brother. Every trader is different, man, you know. Sorry, my Mac is lagging a little bit. Hopefully my internet doesn't start to go crazy like it did yesterday. <laughs> All right, SAEX looking for a possible VWAP rejection here on SAEX. Yeah. Uh, see, look, there's the drop. Look at this beautiful VWAP fade on SLS. Would have been a beautiful, profitable trade for me. My trade idea was correct, though. That's the biggest thing. Like I said, this last push looked like a VWAP fade. And this is it right All here. Right, guys. I'm thinking about shorting I here. Look at SLS, Mitch. It hurts, brother. All right, I'm it taking I there. 1906, guys. I'm short 1906. And it's going to be off of... 15 cents higher about 20s let's just do 20 1920 oh it hurts man look at sls i called it out on the nose this was the setup i was talking about got out i don't know why i got out of this trade and i've been doing well this week but man this trade hurts for real look at this drop beautiful drop would have been a really nice profitable trade i would have been up a decent amount on it but you know, hey, this stuff's going to happen. The most important thing here is that I am, my setups and patterns are correct, and I am using them. Good SAEX, guys. That was also VWAP rejection there that was actually pretty well. Right. I could also see a pop back also still in play there. If it gets like 233s, you could risk off of like 237s. The VWAP fade's actually been a pretty reliable setup these last, you know, towards this end of the week here. But man, SLS hurts, man. Look at that beautiful VWAP it's, fade. It's just one of those trades. Like we have to stick to the risks, you know. Right. Um, you know, I think you originally were willing to risk higher than that 185. I was. And when you changed the plan in the middle of the trade, my risk should have been 190. Is where it should have been, and you know, that's that would have been the perfect risk level. You didn't want to accept that. That All possible right, staff, loss. Guys, yeah, staff, staff low of the day off. break. I see staff. Staff. Staff low of the day break here. Yeah, guys, that's that's one of those like level two shorts there through the 322s, 325 range. So what you want to do is see where the big seller was there. There's someone that added there at 307 there. So look for the bounce to get him a little tight there up to 320s, and you could risk off of 330s. Uh, somebody asked, you mentioned a new video series this morning. Will it be on a different right, guys, channel? 
I'm out of uh, eye there at 1917. Should have held maybe a little bit to 1920, but I'm seeing the flip right there, and I just don't want to test. It's kind of above where I, where I got and the high that I, that I was on, which was 1909. But yeah, I haven't Small squeeze out. I haven't published the new video series quite yet. Um, I'm going to be publishing it and making it live uh, right before the stream's over, and then I'll post a link in the stream so you guys can see it. I mean, I still ride around the BWAP. Um, yeah, I just felt like I needed to get out of it right there. Um, I'll take the small loss versus as I can get back in it. If it fails here in 1920s, then I can get back in it. But it could just rip through that 1920s. This was going to be my out, so kind of glad I, I, I just got out there. Man, I'm, I'm still kicking myself for SLS, brother. Like, look at this. It's a, it's a picture-perfect example of the VWAP fade. It did it twice. And, I think uh, in the end, um, well, VKTX, guys, I just want to alert there. That's coming right back to the highs there. Yeah, VKTX breaking. Staff needs cup, more volume. More like a cup and handle. You're getting those U patterns on, on VKTX. Yeah, but the reason I'm publishing this video series, and not the whole reason, but part of the reason is like, you know, like I'm not one to say others are copying off of my setup or pattern or even I'm not even one to say that I've invented a setup or pattern because, you know, we know nobody really invents setups and patterns, at least major ones like the VWAP fade. But I've noticed a lot of other smaller YouTube channels starting to preach about the VWAP fade and I don't have a problem with that at all. So don't think I'm trying to pretend like the setup is just mine, but they're using it and they just recently started preaching about it and they're using it. And they're saying, oh, look, this is a setup and pattern that's in my day trading course. And so they're essentially copying other traders and then trying to use those setups that they've learned from other traders to sell you their probably scumbaggish day trading course. And so you got to be very weary of stuff like that. And, uh, you know, on beginner trading, I've always tried to offer everything for free, 100 percent free. I don't charge people for anything uh, is which is, you know. I think new traders need to save all the money they can. And so when I see other kind of small channels starting to kind of, you know, use setups that they may have been, they may have copied from other traders and they use that to try to sell their course, which is just a bunch of, you know, copied setups. It's just, you know, it's just a huge red flag in which, I don't know, I just don't respect a trader like that, you know. All right, guys, I'm, I'm watching I if it cracks down here underneath 1906, I'll take a trade and risk back up there to the VWAP. But I want it to actually give me a little bit more confirmation, crack down, and then I'll go ahead and I can risk off of up there uh, the last highs. Yeah, uh, I'm around I'm around the Houston area, P, uh, RXN. Yeah, I appreciate uh, appreciate. Uh... Appreciate you looking out, NYC. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of other small channels recently starting to preach it. And I've been preaching this VWAP fade setup for months now. And honestly, I really don't have a problem if they're not trying to sell you their course. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have a problem with it because honestly, the more traders that are looking for the setup, the more momentum it's ultimately going to have. And so I really don't mind other traders teaching that setup. It's actually a good thing that they're teaching that setup. Uh, what I do have a problem with is other traders copying off of me and then using that to try to sell their day trading course. It's just kind of a scumbag move, if you know what I mean. And so you got to be careful with people like that, you know. Nice, Barnaby. Hey, we should have a beer one day, a beer one day, brother. Hey, guys. MTSL there, guys, is getting near like a crack. It's on that 50-50 right now. ADOM, yeah, somebody mentioned ADOM. I think this one should be tradable. At least it used to be tradable on trade. Yeah, it was tradable yesterday. Even though it's under a dollar. Yeah, it's tradable, so nice. So ADOM, guys, moving a few people mentioning this one. Descending wedge on MTSL, guys, there. Uh, the risk is off of pretty much 320s for the spike. Um, you could get a crackdown. Coming to this three dollars and two eighties. S A E X maybe for a VWAP rejection here maybe. Appreciate the sub Barnaby. Welcome brother. Appreciate the sub Mario. Welcome brother. Appreciate the sub Smud. Welcome brother. Sorry. 
Appreciate the subs, guys. Appreciate all the support. All right, guys. I'm taking a risk here on I here. I'm going to do a starter there at 1901. 100 shares. Looking for a little bounce here. I could add here in between 19 and 1910. But I think it could just crash down also. So that's why I wanted to get a starter in there. Uh, SLS, man. That's one of those trades, man. You just got to learn. Um, I, what was that second ad? I think that second ad put some pressure on you because you became at 180. Right. Well, the the reasonable the reasonable way to approach this trade, if I was gonna, would be to set my stop at one eighty eight or one ninety, giving myself like a five or six cent risk, and then set my potential reward all the way down to this one seventy five level, giving myself a ten cent reward. So it would have been a two to one risk to reward trade, which is what I should have followed, and um, instead I just got out for one dollar technically up, which is okay, but. It would have been a really nice winning trade, and um, you know I just didn't follow my plan, which is you know it happens. I'm not perfect. Uh, I'm still net up on the week, and I've had a pretty good week. Um, break even day today, losing day yesterday. The last three days before that, all green, and so up up a decent amount on the week, net, and at least uh, in a per cents a share or cents per share gain. So I'm up on the week, and the VWAP fade setup. You can see how viable this thing is, man. A beautiful example of it on SLS. But um, just didn't follow my plan, and that happens. It's a learning process, you know. SAEX popping up here. We'll see if it continues to hold under the VWAP at 235. At this point in the day, I'm looking for more VWAP rejections at this point, and so we'll see if we get any. So if you want to know the difference between a VWAP fade and a VWAP rejection, guys, a VWAP rejection is when a stock is in a bullish trend and all of a sudden breaks underneath. Whoa, what is going on with my computer here? Whoa. Yeah, my computer's acting funny. There it goes. Guys, MTSL there, guys, squeezing back up there. Like I said, the squeeze would be the 320. That's exactly where it squeezed up to. For sure, Ashton. If I ever come there, brother, I'll hit you up, man. We'll grab a beer. Right, for sure, insurance. Nice, Stevie. Congrats. Congrats, brother. A PED. Maybe looking for a VWAP fade on PED, although the volume's still low. Um, but watching it. I want to see some uh, more movement here. But yeah, the setup, the setup uh, of today was SLS, and I actually entered this setup. It would have been a beautiful setup, um, and uh, just didn't take advantage of it like I should. But the pattern was there, and the setup was there, and it kind of shows you how viable that VWAP setup is. SLS did it a few times, bearish trend, and you'll see in the first installment of the walkthrough video series I'm going to be publishing today, uh, it's going over the VWAP fade, and the you know basic premise of it is it has to be in a bear trend, like the parameters I look for, it has to be in a bearish trend, bounce up to the VWAP, continue, uh, I plan to take a partial at the low of the day, and then let the rest work. Yeah, so that's All right the there, guys. Uh, I'm taking an ad there at 1910. So now my average is up there to 1906. PTCT for a possible VWAP fade. PTCT. What Off what stock are you in? I. Oh, I. Okay. I'm looking for a possible VWAP fade on PTCT here. Or a VWAP rejection. Sorry, VWAP rejections. CERS VWAP fade. Looks nice. Good risk though. You have to have a little bit higher risk there, though, to like 86, but you could do off the of 72 that last high. Yeah. It's not a bad idea for PTCT. Uh, it's my thinker swim is acting up on uh. That's what's going on. 
on my Mac. All right, guys, took another ad there on I at 1904. Average is 1905, and I have 300 shares there. Looking for this crackdown to 19. We'll look to take some profit in the 19, 1890. All right, so if SLS bounces to the VWAP here, I'll consider another VWAP fade with a tight risk. There you go, guys. Got a little crack of the 19 there. Now that's, I'm looking for volume to come in here, adding to where I'm shorting also. Saw 4,000 shares go through there in 1918. Then 2,000 shares go through there in 1910. I think that's where people are short mainly. Looking for this move down to 93, 90s to take some cover. We're seeing off of 1916 there, guys. Let's get this crack down right here. Want to see it break that support there? 1895s, 1894s. Yeah, somebody mentioned CERS. This is actually a VWAP rejection since it was bearish and then broke under it. But it looks okay here. Interesting level to watch is 760. I got to restart my Mac, so I can't even see the chat right now. My Mac's acting really funny here. I'm just going to restart it. There we go. Restarting it. Um, there you go. A little bit of a wash there on I. May start planning another position here with SLS. All right, so I'm in SLS here with the. Uh, no, I'm still not in. Why doesn't it fill me here? It's probably one of those uh, order too close ones. All right, guys, there you go. Got the break for I there, guys. All right, looking to take some cover here in 89, 88. All right, I'm going to take right there uh, just one-third of the Ugh. position. One-third of the position there, guys. Yeah, there's the VWAP fade on I. But, man, look at – I tried to jump in at 174 on SLS. It's down to 170, and it didn't fill me. I think I had an old limit order set, but – Today's a day that my trade ideas are correct, but I'm having some user errors and uh, you know some some mistakes on my end that aren't necessarily with the pattern or setup. But the setup's in play. Um, too late to jump in SLS. Not gonna chase it here. The entry would have been at 174, like I tried to, um, and unfortunately I just didn't get it there. Should have came to the eye party, man. <laughs> yeah, brother. Look at that VWAP fade, dude. Really beautiful example. See, look, here's another VWAP fade right here on I. Bearish trend, pull up to the VWAP, and then just a tank from 1920 Guys, down to 1880. What, what I love about this is that I was able to stop myself out, not overreact. I went small sizing at the beginning, stop out for a $9 loss, and now I've already made a $15 gain. So I'm in the green for the name. I'm looking to add up here at $19. Anything above $19, I'm looking to add. I'm up there at $19.05. I'll add the 100 shares that I just took off. 
I think this could get down and really start crashing down. And you see the daily has been starting to go on a downtrend as it's rejected those 20s. Didn't get a high enough bounce there to add. So I'm just going to let it go. I have 200 shares left. Average is 1905, guys. 1905. Started with a 1904. Added up there at, uh, I think, 1910. I got. And I got up there to about uh, 1907 and then added there a little bit on the breakdown of the support there. You know, one of the beautiful things of always trying to short more into the green candles is that you have a lot of times where you can get those instant green trades, right. and we all know how those feel. They feel way better than holding it through a fucking, or through a pullback, you know, way better. They feel way better. <laughs> yeah, they do, man. <laughs> yeah, you guys doing out there? You guys see any setups you guys like on the long side? You guys see anything holding? Holding VWAP, holding the 90 MA around there, or 20 MA. So I just got back in the chat. I had to restart my computer. It was weird. Ducks is a beast. I agree with oh, that. 100% Ducks is a, you know, I've been watching his videos as well. Yeah, man. He does really good with the shorting on resistance. He understands not to look at the bottom of the charts. He only pays attention to resistance, right? Daily resistance, and the also the thing that helps ducks guys is having capital, guys. There's nothing better than having capital. Um, you know, he lost a good fifty thousand dollars before he started getting profitable. Look at Z Y N E here, guys. Z Y N E. Kind of watching this one. Uh, the low of uh, pre market is seven seventy seven. It's at seven ninety. Maybe starting to tank here. Also watching PTCT for this possible VWAP fade and SLS for this bear flag down under the lows. Oh, there you go. There's there's the long that we could possibly watch. VKTX, guys. I'd watch this on a five-minute chart. You get a one up, one down, two up, two down. You're probably going to get a three up there into the 1140 range, 1150s. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of retrace in the 1130s, hold that support that's established now at... 1120s look at so ZY. That way you can have about 10 cent risk look at zyne this is one i just mentioned it's it just broke the lows and it's starting to test this low at 784 we'll see if it continues to crack down breaks that low of pre at 777 but it's in a bearish trend at this point so watching it also watching ptct here maybe for a low of the day break on, on as well as under 39 Guys, eyes looking better, guys. This is why I'm going to hold. I'm going to wait for the next push to the support. I'll take some profit at 1880. 1880 looks more than a good range to take that profit. There is a support more down at 1871. And when it gets to there, I'll look to take another profit and get on out of this trade. Oh, you're still in I? Yeah, I'm still in I. Okay. I only taken a hundred shares off and I've made already 15 bucks. Um, I lost about nine dollars in the beginning So I'm still up on the on the name and just kind of sticking around um, The volume has slowed down, but the only thing that's helping me is the pattern guys I'm staying with the pattern for sure. It's still in a bearish sense And so until it gets above VWAP, it's still bearish for me. I'm still in this Looking for this crack down here. Ooh, look at GERN. Somebody just mentioned this one in the chat. Uh, look at GERN for this fade. Yeah, Ducks like shorting this one. I've, I've actually, he's made like, I think this was one of his biggest gains ever. He shorted this back and back a couple of weeks back, Ugh. probably months. Dude, it hurts. April. SLS, man, it hurts, brother. It hurts, man. It hurts, brother. Ugh. SLS. It's just one of those trades, you know. Um, you, what happened really is the support never fully broke down there. Right. So the support was about 180, and what you got was more of a bounce off the support instead of a crackdown through the support. Yeah. It hurts, but no worries, man. All right, guys. I back there to 19. 
I'm fine with that, not stressing at all. That's why I've taken some profit. I'm holding to that VWAP, guys. PTCT with the VWAP rejection there. Uh, SAEX. I think we're getting some ads. A few I people think we're getting some ad shorts. A few people mentioning SAEX starting to uh, run up here and spike. Yeah, up there now, the 262s there, guys. Uh, it hurts, though. SLS would have been up really nicely, 20, 20 25 cents a G -E -R -N. share. GERN. That looks like a nice bearish pattern. Right, there's the fade on the VWAP. You could maybe short off of a bounce right here, the 36 off of 39. Three cent risk for a nice crackdown trade. Um, the thing that I like about GERN is that it's right at the support on Ooh. the daily. And it has huge volume for today. It has more volume than it should, guys. This could really crack down there, guys. Don't mean to Come interrupt you. To those 278. But you look can... at look at ZYNE. This is one I mentioned earlier. Said I was watching it under the 777 low. It just cracked underneath that. It's at 775 now. Yeah, guys. I think there's a big short that jumped in there for I. So I'm just gonna hold off there, off of 1910 there. There was a uh, 7,500 shares that went through there at 19. Look at GERN, man. That VWAP fade. It was in play there, down to 330s. Look for the bounce to 336, guys. That's still an entry off of 339, guys. The, the, like I said, on GERN, you do have great risk to reward. Seeing as it's on a daily support there, could crack down, come down to 318s, then break down to the 305s. PTCT cracking under those lows for that VWAP rejection. Looking good. VWAP rejection's been in play. I think we kind of found the sweet spot for the VWAP rejection, Mitch. The sweet spot, in my opinion, is... Um, you know, the first 30 minutes, maybe a little bit less than that. The first 20, 25 minutes are right, where guys. the first 20 are. Careful right here on I. I'm just watching to see if it's going to get to 12s here. All right, guys, I'm out there. Out there at 12s. That's why you got to respect the VWAP, you guys. One of the key things in this strategy is respecting the VWAP. So it went through there. It showed me 910s. As soon as some, someone bought up those 910s, I went to get out. That gave me the ability to get out there at 1912 versus 1916 or 20. Lost uh, six cents there, so pretty much break even on the name. But yeah, no, like I was saying, Mitch, I think um, I think the sweet spot for the VWAP fade and the VWAP rejection is that the first 20 minutes or so is when the VWAP fade is really in play. And then after that, it's kind of more of a VWAP rejection setup. Like if you look at PTCT, beautiful VWAP rejection, called this one out, bounced exactly off of the VWAP after breaking under it. Uh, same thing with GERN. Um, what's another one? GERN, nice little VWAP rejection there as well. Uh, I, obviously, the stock you were playing, nice VWAP rejection. SLS, nice VWAP fade. And so we've had a few examples of this setup kind of going here. You can see PTCT starting to test here and uh, test the low of the day. But yeah, I think that's kind of how we should approach it. And this weekend, I'm going to start back testing um, the VWAP rejection using those parameters, uh, using the time frame, like I was talking about. Hey, like I said, guys, for VKTX, guys, I want to see those 1120s hold, and they've been holding, guys. This last three, five minute candles held those 1120s. Here's a bounce here on PTCT. I want to see it hold support at 39 or hold resistance at 39 now. But yeah, the, the setup to get into this morning, guys, was SLS. A beautiful example of the fade. Did it twice, once here, once here. Um, unfortunately, I just missed it. You see, once. Here, and then once here so if you look at the top right chart VWAP fade here and here uh, two opportunities there that I missed didn't take advantage of but that's really what I look for um, unfortunately I couldn't take advantage of it at this point I'm watching VKTX to see if it eventually breaks underneath the VWAP for a possible VWAP right, projection guys, I took a small start of their VKTX there 1123s 1123s um, risking off of 
eleven eighteen. Eleven eighteen. The VWAP's at eleven seventeen. So long there, eleven twenty threes off of eleven eighteen, guys. You there, brother? Yeah, I'm here, brother. Uh, what yeah, you're in sure. VKTX? You're going long. Yes. Okay. I'd like to see it get over that 11:34. That's going to be an important spot. When it gets to 11:34s, I'll look to take a little bit. It's gonna be my last trade of the day, guys. So remember, guys, I'm I'm uploading that new video uh, right before the stream ends. So, um, so be on the lookout for that. I'll post the link in the chat before the stream's over. So PTCT, I'm kind of watching this one. See if it holds support here. It's had a lot of support uh, over this, uh, under this 39.10, 39.15 level. Now, if it holds resistance there and continues down here, the next step would be a low of the day break. Maybe a target down to 38 there. So we'll see. All right, guys, gonna pay attention here for VKTX 1120s break. And that's what we don't wanna see. That'll mean it'll start going bearish, so I'll get all out. But if this curls above 1130s, we can start getting back in that bullish sense, get up there. All right, so here's kind of the crucial level for PTCT. Big upwick there. We'll see if it gets rejected. Watching ZYNE here as well. SAX getting rejected again through those 250s. SAX has more of a cup and handle pattern, guys, on a five minute. There goes ZYNE, like I said, cracking under those lows. It's at 767 now. All right, guys. I'm out there. VKTX there, 1118s, guys. Small loss. Going to end the day. Um, Going to be down, guys, after being uh, green all week. Um, not... Not not big, at least. Um, as this week, mainly, I'm just trying to trade more of the strategy. Um, did a couple of VWAP fades today, just didn't plan out. Um, definitely had a chance there on I to get some good profit. Uh, just uh, was looking for more of a support test down at the 76 range for that uh, next profit. Didn't get it. Was able to stop out there for a small loss. And going to call the day and just really work on strategies this weekend, guys. Really developing these strategies to get more exact for you guys. Um, one of the key things I've noticed is the variables and the catalyst. Um, I tried, I'm trying to create more of a whole trading plan. Don't stress it, brother. We'll uh, we'll have that meeting we talked about this weekend. I think we should back test the VWAP rejection strategy some this weekend. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely the the strategy that I would say is our, at least for right now, our least viable that I would recommend for everyone using um, the VWAP fade. I definitely that's more something that I could say 
hey, I can use it, you can use it. I think anybody can use that strategy. Looking at VKTX here, it just broke underneath the VWAP, so a possible VWAP rejection here. It's got some support underneath it, though, at 11 and 10, 95, so we'll watch it, but possible so, VWAP rejection. So this this is more of a long pattern fail play. Um, I used to do these um, more often, uh, probably about three or four months ago. I used to do these a lot. I used to look for past uh, 10, uh, past 10 a.m., if a stock doesn't go long and fails on that third attempt, which was right here at 11.25, needed to get up there to his 11.30s, it's failed through their 11.20s. And so that's really the spot where the pattern has just failed. So now you got that VWAP breakage. Now you're looking for the rejection. Rejection would mean it popping up to VWAP now and rejecting to get back above. That's the VWAP rejection. Right, for sure. Uh, Corey's asking, um, can I go over the VWAP rejection setup? Yeah, brother. Um, uh, I have this new series that I've been working on. Um, and so before the stream ends, I'll post a link. And it's called Walkthroughs. And it's just kind of going through the different setups that I use. Um, and so I'll post the video before the stream's over. Yeah, MTSL, guys. It's, it's on that 50-50, guys. Like we said, it's been doing that descending triangle. Um, you couldn't take a risk off of 320s, like it, I said earlier, when it was back there at 310 early in the trade. Um, like I said, this is a trade that you're risking 10 cents. You have a big potential gain there, so the risk to reward is there. But I will tell you that this is the kind of trade that most traders don't like to find themselves in because it's one of those trades that you're more 50 50 you're going to sit back and just watch it react and then once it reacts you can go ahead and either stop out or take your profits um, the only edge you have here is if you see level two or tape reading Yeah, James, if, it, if VKTX comes back to the VWAP for a fade, it'll be the VWAP rejection trade. And what happens is, so you get the breakthrough VWAP, and VWAP is a huge, huge indicator. Uh, hundreds of thousands of traders watching this. Um, and as it breaks through, it needs to go ahead and now hold it as a resistance. Right. Once you get that held resistance, that shows VWAP rejection. And then there you can go ahead and go short, looking for the support test, which would be down here at 11.05, and then the breakage through there, and then you look for the next support to take profit. Right, like if you wanna look at two examples, look at the right side of my charts here. The first one, SLS, this is a VWAP rejection. Actually, this might be a VWAP rejection here, but then a fade here. There and it goes, guys, MTSL there, guys. That's Ooh, why I called the it break. out there, guys. And so you could still take the trade even here at three and risk off a of 310. This is what I'm starting to learn about this trade. Um, yesterday, I took a trade like this on the break. And as I just mainly I said, if it breaks here, as long as I can risk 10 cents, I can take the chance because the momentum's there for the breakage. Let's say if it breaks three right now, you're probably definitely going to head to those 289s. So it's not a bad trade to take as you've gotten the wash. But it, as you can see, the, what really mattered there was the level two. All right. right before it cracked, you saw the level two get slammed there at 308 and 311s. 311s got hit with 3,000 shares. And then at 308, th four separate orders going in through there at 2,000 levels. That's what I mean by watching the level two and waiting for the wash there. All right, so here's you know the possibility. Look at VKTX. So this is the VWAP rejection set up here if this works. Like Mitch and I have always said, we haven't back tested the VWAP rejection strategy. It's just kind of one that we've been working on. And so we're watching it here, but this is kind of what it looks like the VWAP rejection. You can see it bounced, it was bare, it was bullish. It broke underneath the VWAP and then the VWAP acted as resistance. At least it has so far. And so watching this really closely here, um like I said, the we have a key to this is where the breakdown happened. So you got the breakdown right by VWAP, which actually 
it helps and it doesn't help. But the good thing is that at least you know where to risk off of. Right. It broke down through that 1121. So if you got short there at 1120s or on this bounce at 1117, you have that short, short risk through risk and you have a already measured reward as you've gotten that wash already down to 1103. Right. And that's why these VWAP rejections and fades are good setups, at least in my opinion, is because the risk to reward's usually there. Like it's usually good risk to reward. Kicking myself for SLS today. Uh, not a bad week though, still up on the week, but kicking myself for uh, SLS here for not um, following hey it. Hey guys, through. another one that can crack there guys is SEX. SEX, you're looking for the washout on the level twos and it needs to crack VWAP. But it could crack down here through the 240s and just wash down. On which one? S E S A E X. Oh, okay. S A E X. Yeah, I was gotcha. like, you're spelling sex there, you know? <laughs> hey, S E X, guys. <laughs> and you see it right there, the level two wash off right there through the 240s. Yep. Let's see if it just continues through there. All right, so big upwicks on VKTX here. I, it looks like some shorters might jump in, but still kind of in limbo here. Bounced off the VWAP twice. And so we'll see if we can crack under this $11 level. The rule of three, man, the rule of three. I went right back down there underneath the VWAP. PAH is a good example of the VWAP fade. If you look at PAH here, bullish, broke under the VWAP, held his resistance, continued pushing down. But yeah, the picture perfect example of our setup was SLS today. And I got into it, just didn't take advantage of it. Um, break even day, so not too upset. Uh, still up on the week. Three profitable days, one break even, one losing day. So I'll take that. Still a up week. Um, what would that be? 60% uh, win rate today, or 60% win rate this week with a break even day. So not too, too bad. Um, you know, obviously, I've been pretty, you know, consistent the last month or two and so hopefully i can start taking that leap to using bigger sizing especially on mondays and tuesdays which are historically my best days there goes mtsl look at mtsl cracking under the whole dollar of three starting to tank there So I said, guys, when you get that wash off and you can risk 10 cents, it's not a bad idea. Um, that's why I said at 310, it's not a bad idea either. But the only problem at 310 is that, like I said, you're in the 50-50 range. Um, with those kind of trades, you're looking for a home run. So your accuracy is not going to be very high. But when you win, as long as you let your winners win, you should still be in the profitable Appreciate the sub, Pete. Appreciate the sub, Jay. Appreciate the sub, well, uh, Webster. Welcome, guys. Appreciate it. Sorry, just now seeing these subs. Hey, guys. S-A-E-X, guys, is still holding pretty well there on the five-minute. Um, you know, through this 250s, it could get some power up. There it is. There's the spike up to 254. Big key. Adds in the 52s and 54s, guys. 
So if you see those numbers break through again with big volume, that means buyers bought and then the following buyers bought the next leg up. But yeah, volume's kind of coming down some here. Um, we'll see what happens. Not my favorite. Uh, not my favorite day. Not too many setups, but there was a few opportunities to take that we missed. Um, but yeah, no worries. Still up on the week. I think Mitch is as well. So yeah, definitely. I'll take this week. Not too too bad here. Yeah, great week, guys. Great week. Um, just really working hard on the strategies. But yeah, I'll probably end up closing the stream down now. Let me go ahead and make this video public. So I just made my new video public, guys. Um, I'll go ahead and post the link in the chat for my new series. I'm going to go ahead and close the stream down now. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and uh, I appreciate all the love and support, guys. Uh, also, I day trade live on stream every weekday morning. So make sure you come check us out on Monday morning. And I should have a few videos I post uh, upcoming uh, in the upcoming weekend. And so make sure to check those out as well. Yeah, Fridays for sure, man. No worries. Yeah, brother. I, I mean, I'm still net profit on the week. That's the most important thing. I'm, I'm definitely happy with the week. And so losing days are going to happen. Any trader that only has green days is lying to you. Uh, no matter what they say, they're either lying to you or they're taking advantage of their followers pumping up stocks. And so, um, you know, losing days are going to happen. Still up on the week. Still a profitable week and still a... Uh, you know, winning percentage week. And so I'll take it. Not bad. Hopefully uh, next week I'll use a little bit larger sizing. Um, also, here's the new video I just posted. There's the link for the new series I just posted. So go check that out, guys, if you have time. And uh, yeah, guys, good luck for the rest of the day. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Click the like button if you want to help support this channel. I really appreciate it if you do. If you could click the like button, I definitely appreciate it. And uh, yeah, guys, good luck for the rest of the day. I'll see you all on Monday for our stream at the same time as always. Have a good weekend, guys. Mitch, you want to say anything, brother? Uh, no, nah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let you guys know uh, the stocks that are in play for the long side today. You know, SAEX is still there, um, AXTI. And, you know, the key is, you know, you guys, you got to uh, stick to the strategy that you're going to play. You know, today I at least stuck to some VWAP fades, and if I lose on the VWAP fade, I'm going to be more than okay with it. What's going to upset me is taking trades strictly off of price action that are not to the strategy. For sure. you got to We got to stick to our plans, brother, and we'll be all right, man. It's been a good few exactly weeks, guys. honestly, brother. It's been, it's been a net profit few weeks. It's been uh, a good percentage win rate. In the last few weeks, and so we're getting there, brother. Next week, it's just Definitely. about making some bigger gains in this market, you know. So, uh, yeah, guys, good luck. I'll see you all on Monday. Go check out the new video. I just posted the link in the chat. And, uh, yeah, guys, have a good weekend.